Welcome, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate all you guys for watching the channel, watching videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I wanted to talk about something today. And it's I just have to talk about it because like myself, I you know, I believe there's probably a lot of other people in this world. By the way, I'll be Ron G. I always got to throw the name out there because I don't make my videos with my name on there. So I, you know, I always make the video so you guys can get familiar with me and my name and you know, got enough videos. You guys should know my name by now, but I don't know. It's just something I do. I got to throw the name out there. But anyway, this has been on my mind because I think a lot of people suffer with the same thing that I suffer. And it's called being a slow developer. And what I mean by that is you process things differently than other people. Uh, my last video, I put music and, you know, made it a little soft and you can hear me talk and get a little music in the background, but I'm not giving y'all no music in this one. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying because I suffered through this. It's an excuse, but I know I suffered through it. It's an excuse and I'm breaking those excuse excuses because excuses are a habit and I want to break that. So, but I want to talk about being a slow developer. A slow developer is someone exactly what it means. You are a person that cannot comprehend things as fast as you like. You know, you know, you got that one particular person in your life or you got a few or maybe a whole lot that you're around them enough and you go, man, you just read that book last night and you able to you able to recite, you know, six sentences without even looking at the book, you know, that show you that they're smart. But that don't necessarily mean that they're smart. That just necessarily means that their mind is a sponge and they just got a really good memory. You know, that's what we try. Well, that's what we try to think in ourselves, a slow developer is thinking if somebody has something that do something better than we do, uh, we get intimidated. But instead of getting intimidated, instead of being nerve wracked about what other people abilities are, won't you focus on your weaknesses and make your weaknesses become strengths in your life? Like I always talk about, you know, I can't learn this fast enough, whatever it is, you know, uh, math, uh, I don't speak well. Um, uh, you do a job and, you know, you may not learn quick enough because, you know, you people, whoever is watching this, uh, you know, when you get a job and you have a mentor or you have a boss or whoever you're working with for those two, three, four months and you feel like that you're not learning fast enough and you get in the heat or the pressure or the side eye from whoever's training you like why is it taking you so long to learn this it's not you know what i mean so you get intimidated you get intimidated it's the truth so actually i have a story let me tell you my story last year 2018 um it's either september or october this happened and i did this and I'm gonna tell y'all, it's embarrassing, but I'm gonna go with the story. So, I found this job doing construction. Now your boy has never, ever done construction. And I wasn't being like a helper. I was actually getting my hands in there. I was, you know, learning something I never learned in my life, right? I thought of every, I thought of every every excuse not to go to this place because I was scared. I had fear that I was never, ever going to learn how to do this particular job that they wanted me to do. And I'm not lying to you guys. This, this happened. I only worked there two days. And it was construction. I was supposed to do it. Um, they didn't know me. I didn't know them. I wasn't familiar with the company, but I worked there for two days. I worked there one day just BSing around, just doing this, that, and the third. And the second day, I was getting my hands dirty. 
And this person that was training me, he was talking like he was Spanish. I didn't understand nothing. So I thought of everything. Man, I don't want to go back there because I got to drive an hour. Man, I don't want to go back there because I don't know. And I'm here to tell you guys, I regret from running from that situation. I literally ran from that job because I'm a slow developer and I did not want to do something that I knew I could not do or I would have been able to do it. It just would have took me a while to do it. So I ran and I left the job and I didn't do it all because of I know that I don't comprehend well and I don't think of I don't do jobs as quickly as other people and I do this and I do that and honestly don't do what I did y'all don't run don't run face it head on it's okay to be uncomfortable don't you are already your worst nightmare and what I mean by that you are your worst critic you are your worst critic Stop criticizing yourself and just let other people do it. You know what I mean? Stop criticizing you and just let other people do it. Because then it probably won't affect you as much because you carry the weight and the burden of your self-inflicted mind of saying, you can't do this because I'm too slow. I can't do this because I don't learn quick enough. Stop making these excuses. Because you know what? That same friend, same family member, same... Uh, co-worker, same associate that seem like they're smart, you can have exactly what they have. But you know how you do it? You gotta work. You have to work hard. If you know your problem, work at it. I know my problems. I'm gonna start working at it. I beat myself up all the time like why did I do that at that I should have just sat there and just soaked up as much as I could and just be honest I don't understand problem is in the back of my mind you keep telling people you don't understand um, I don't get it yet uh, I need a little bit more time the problem with me was in my mind I was thinking I'm gonna frustrate that person so what let that person be frustrated don't make the decision for you Sometimes you cannot do that. And I made a decision for me, oh, I'm uncomfortable, so I don't want to do this. And that's what I did, being uncomfortable. My goal is to be uncomfortable as much as I can. To be uncomfortable is okay. To be uncomfortable is all right. Learn and figure out your weaknesses and make your weaknesses your strengths. I know my weaknesses, I'm gonna do it. Think about yourself, figure out yourself. Figure out what is a fear for you. Figure out what you're weak on. Figure out what you believe you cannot do and go do it. Go do it. Do it. I told you guys I, was, I had a fear of flying. I did it. More than once. I'm still scared of flying, but I still done it. I've been on a plane three times. Well, a little more than that, but I done it. It's a fear. And I still did it. When you figure out what's your problem, when you figure out what's your weaknesses, work on it every day. Work on it. Work on it. You want to be a better speaker? Work on it. You want to be a better? You want to? You want? You want to be good at math? Work on it. You your English? You want that to be better? Work on it. You want to be someone that has great eye contact? You got great charisma. You have you have this thing about yourself that people want to be around you. Work on it. You want to conquer and succeed and flow in this life? Like man, I am doing it. I am killing it. I am winning have to fix your flaws I'm not saying everybody is going to fix every flaw about them but whatever's holding you back to succeed or win you have to make that your strength stop saying you slow stop saying i don't understand keep all that negativity because you know what you take that negativity home you take that mindset 
in your mind home. You sleep with that mindset. Believe it or not, when that stuff is in your head, when it's in your mind, when it's on your brain, I'm telling you guys, it's sitting there. Even if you ain't thinking about it right there that moment, it's still on the back burner. It's still in the back of your mind and it can creep up at any time you want to. I wasn't thinking about that. Where, the, where did that come from? And it happens. I'm telling you from experience. This is what I do. And I'm doing my best in everything that I'm doing. I'm going to start doing everything I can to get this negativity out of me. And you have to focus on how to get the negativity out of you. Your slow developing is just an excuse. Leave the excuses behind you and move forward to do what you need to do. Slow developing is just a crutch for you to say, I don't want to do it and I'm lazy. Stop. That's because you don't want to work twice as hard. You don't want to work three times as hard. You don't want to work four times hard. You don't want to work five times hard. When you know there's something about you that needs to be fixed, go get it. Fix it. Like I told you guys on the last episode, I don't do this, I don't do that, but I'm going to start. And if I feel as though I can't read, I'm just going to audio book it up. Do what you need to do to better yourself because you always going to stay in that same place, that same mindset, that same job, that same situation, that same shit. So you have to fix it and stop making up excuses. That's all it is, is excuses. Stop with the sensitivity, brush it off, and move forward. That's what we all have to do. That's what I have to do. I decided to let that go that I did that. I decided, you know what? I have to stop thinking about that. Move on. I'm in a different place now. Let's succeed. Slow developing is just an excuse. Yeah, you may be slow. So what? Who cares? Work hard. Do everything you need to do. And eventually your slow developing will go away. But you got work. You got to work. You got some days you won't be going to sleep the time that you want to go to sleep. You may want to go to bed at 10. You may not go to bed till 1230. If you want to be great and if you want to be the best you, you want to be everything in this world that you believe that you deserve. If you deserve this, if you deserve that, you, you nobody's going to give it to you. Nobody is going to give it to you. I tell you what, you will eat much longer if you learn yourself. You will survive in this world a hell of a lot longer without anyone just handing it to you. Because you went through it. You suffered. You're done. You don't want to do that no more. Stop making excuses for yourself. Stop it. That's what I made. I made that decision. I'm done with that. You have to look yourself in the mirror. You have to write down your goals. You have to write down the things that you want to accomplish in life and work at it. Figure out a way to do it and say, you know what? It's on paper. I can see it. Read it every day. Read it every night before you go to sleep, before you kiss the kids and kiss your husband or kiss your wife or the people you care about that's in your household. You do all of that and then your goals in life, that's what you should be seeing. So when you go to sleep, that'll be on your mind when you go to bed. So you can focus on that and go get that. Stop making excuses for the things that you have because the things that you have, you can get rid of those with a great mindset, with a great mentality, with a better you, a greater you. And once you put those excuses to the side, you put those excuses to the back burner, you'll put those excuses to bed and say, I want to do what I need to do in this world for me to succeed and win. The excuses got to stop. The complaining has to stop. And you're on your way. But you have to make the decision. You. Do that. And eventually in time, but you have to work. You have to keep at it. You have to keep going. You have to keep moving forward. 
even when life throws a curveball at you. If you can step to the side and let that curveball keep moving, let that go to the back and you keep moving to the front because you're going to get curves in your life. And you're going to get roller coaster rides. But as they come, keep yourself with passion, motivation to keep moving forward and do not let that negativity seep into your mind to throw you off course to be better and stop making excuses and to stop complaining. I'm out, y'all. That's all I had to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. No, you might, matter of fact, forget that you hope you guys enjoyed the video. I believe I said something that meant something to me and I hope it meant something to you. All right, you guys have a good one. Peace.